Hi guys, this is guys my welcome welcome back to the channel or page. So today I'm gonna show you an amazing digital artist tool and that is macro keys. Okay, so this is a second keyboard. I'll show it to you. So this is like around 300 to 400 pesos keyboard. I know you can go cheaper. I got this for 450 together with the shipping. You can do it. you can use any keyboard out there, or you can even use a numpad. So what this does, in this second keyboard does, it's programmed to open applications and to do my shortcut keys in one button. So for example, in OBS, uh, instead of getting a, a Gato Stream Deck, which is around 8,000 to 12,000 pesos right now, you can use a second keyboard. Easy peasy. So for example, I will unmute my... Mute. Unmute it. There we go. One click of a button or I change scene. Let's say to my window scene right now. Okay. I totally forgot to control this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It opens my other program like my Photoshop. Yeah, put my camera on. There we go. Or if I press open my Facebook, it will open Facebook. See? It's like a lot of stuff you can do with this. You can just open, like, uh, for example, Twitter, which is trending right now. Twitter's trending. Opens my Twitter, opens my mail, blah, blah, blah. You can see all the programs I already programmed in this keyboard. So how I did this, I I have this, uh, there's this free application called Hid Macros, HID Macros. I don't know how they pronounce it. It's pretty old, but it's a really good program for you to program a second keyboard. Windows has this problem where if you put another keyboard, it will detect both keyboards as one. So this is why you need HID macros to do the programming for you. For example, I have the shortcut key where you make a composite snapshot in Photoshop, which Control Shift Alt E. What we do? I go to HID macros, input the input the code there. Let's say Shift Control Alt E, and then assign one button from the second keyboard to do the function. So instead of pressing four buttons, I'm just gonna press one button, which is amazing. Saves me time, because usually I let go of the pen and press four buttons at the same time. And this keyboard is already programmed. All the short keys I use uh, mostly in Photoshop and in Premiere, and also in OBS. So I don't need an Elgato anymore, which is Elgato is good. Yeah, but I won't probably pay 8,000 to 12,000 pesos for a 15 button macro keyboard ish with pictures that's my explanation for that. so yeah this is a great alternative for the Galado stream deck for you streamers and for you digital artists easy peasy one click of a button opens everything for you you can also program this to do clicks or open or uh, shut down your computer, yada yada yada. I use this for recording. Also programs my games and uh, your snapshot, my RGB or lights. So which is fantastic, guys. I really suggest you should try this. I will leave down a uh, link below for HID Macros. It's totally free. It's a free app. I know there's a better version which is Auto Hotkeys, but it's more complicated than. HID macros. Though I know Auto Hotkeys is more powerful than HID macros. Uh, also, lead on a tutorial where I learned this. I really spent some three days working on this, and it's so far I love it. I love it so much. Take note: you can use any keyboard, any numpad, easy PC guys. Especially for this uh, artists who are using display tabs. If you get a numpad, you won't get so much space, and it will be easy for you to navigate. So yeah. Guys, try getting a macro keyboard. Best thing I did so far this week. Getting a second keyboard for my macro keys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave the links down below, guys. This is Kaizen Suma. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. i see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And I'm going to turn it off with macro keys. So thank you for watching this video. And I uh, hope you guys would follow me also in the other social platforms I'm in.